y'all a minute since i did one of these videos right here and it's been a minute since i did one for this guy right here man y'all already know who it is man you already know i had to get some more time coming man you know i can't forget about that hall fam i still got a lot more of his videos to react to and i just i gotta do them because every last one of his songs always been thought provoking and i love music like that so so you know i gotta knock that out for y'all but before i get into the music let me just say this right here my channel was monetized for a minute then i got demonetized well not really demonetized but they stopped showing the ads but now i'm back monetized man thank goodness <laughs> It's like I was over here fighting, man. I was over here. What R. Kelly say, fighting for my motherfucking life. Robert, Stop it. Y'all quit playing. Quit okay. playing. I'm fighting for my life. Damn, me over here going through so much trying to get that Google AdSense pen in. I had to request a new pen about five or six times. I think I reached the, the max limit. And so I had to go find the damn letter that they sent me. It was a lot, man. And y'all know I've been in the process of moving. So it's a lot of mail got lost. A lot of stuff got lost. But it is what it is. We got it back now. Speaking of me being monetized right now, I got channel memberships. And y'all go ahead and head and support the channel. The best way you can support the channel, man. I got, you know, this is not too, nothing too crazy. You know, you ain't paying no Netflix subscription or nothing like that. But for anybody that wants to donate that type of money, you can. If you want to sign up for that type of money, you can. You know, the money for channel memberships is basically just going to go towards helping me make these videos, man. It's just support of the channel. It will come with a lot of perks, but... These perks is going to come later on, not right now. Like I said, I'm still building on to this channel and a lot of other things I'm doing in the background. But yeah, y'all stay in tune for that, man. Yeah, with that being said, let's just jump right on into it. They're angry that they'll never shut me up. I'm making more noise. Turn me up or turn me down. It's your choice. Black lives only matter when they got a corpse to exploit. Because the media made millions off the pro. Man, I almost hit that Rick Flair woo when he said that. That was so true. Automatically, right off the back, hitting you with them big bombs, man. That movement only gets support when they got a dead body to exploit, man. And I'm so, I'm so happy that a lot of people just now, well, not just now, but recently, you know, been waking up to that. They've been waking up to it, thanks to, thanks to a lot of creators, but mainly, you know, you know Candace Owens without her documentary exposing a lot of things. You got a lot of conservative uh, content creators talking about this same issue with this same group of people every time somebody passes every time somebody die they gotta exploit the hell out the situation man what happened to people having shame man what happened to people having morals it used to be a time you wouldn't even speak down on a dead person let alone try to exploit them being dead exploit the situation well, that's the world we living in now, man. Clown world. More noise, turn me up or turn me down. It's your choice. Black lives only matter when they got a corpse to exploit. Cause the media made millions off the protests for George Floyd. That's called ad revenue. They make cash selling you. All the crap in the ads where they broadcast news. Ooh, the network full of liars got investment capital and segments sponsored by Pfizer. And the freedom fighters, I feel like the left just plants them. To infiltrate the right, it's extensive planning. Then it happens overnight, it's impressive branding. Make a million off of shirts that say, let's go brand. And it's a cash grab everyone's a oh man oh man i never knew what that let's go brand and stuff meant tell you the truth man i don't know what it means somebody you know if, if one of y'all could let me know what it mean in the comment section i'd be grateful for it because i see it a lot but i don't know who brand it is i don't know why he needs support <laughs> but uh a lot of a lot of what he just said is true and I'm glad somebody really exposing these news stations, man. I know Fox just now being exposed for being frauds. Oh, I think the guy Matt Walsh, he he like really going in on Fox lately. He going in on them and calling them out on ABS. And they turn out to be like a whole like liberal supporting group of people behind the scenes. Like a lot of people that work for Fox is coming out and saying like these people are weirdos, man. These people are frauds. They calling them out. And I feel like people should know that when you have that much money being made and you have that much power, you know, you know having people in control of that much power, the, the power of influence to be able to show you something and, and change the way you think. 
expect for something to be corrupt behind that, man. Expect it. And you got to be looking into that. You got to put people like that and corporations like that on a magnifying glass. Dyer's got investment capital and segment sponsored by Pfizer and the freedom fighters. I feel like the left just plans them to infiltrate the right. It's extensive planning. Then it happens overnight. It's impressive branding. Make a million off of shirts that say, let's go Brandon. It's a cash grab. Everyone's a lab rat. Amazon made billions of dollars from sanitizer and black mass. And that's that. Funny how the terrorists who have tag always come from places that are oil rich and have gas. Democrats, they don't give a damn. What is this about? Our military trapped in the Middle East. Can't get them out. Heroes are the ones who had the constitution written down y'all are using hero while describing kyle rittenhouse one cent two cent three cents four we get less oh man oh man he going in on everybody man and what he said is true yeah the democrats over the past few years they didn't turn into like a a bunch of warmongering type of people this is, this is what they is and they go into Iraq, they go into Afghanistan, they send the troops over, and they care nothing about leaving troops behind. As long as that money get made, as long as checks is being printed, they good. So yeah, so yeah, it's sad that the real heroes of the country, you know, the same type of people that really founded the country, the same type of people who shed the most blood for the country, is really getting just left behind. They being shitted on, man. They're being treated like nothing when they do get back home. Nobody cares about them. And they and they the country's real heroes, man. They the ones who really put their life on the line like, like for the country to have freedom. Like, look at what happened when they sent the troops out of, uh, I think it was Iran. I think it was Iran. I don't know. I might be wrong about that. But they sent the troops out of Iran, and they left all that military equipment behind. And a lot of the Iranian people, that was working with the U.S. military, they trying to jump on the plane while the plane is taking off to head back to America, man. They falling off the plane because they know they about to get killed. The U.S. let them get killed, man. The U.S., they work with the military. They was working for the U.S. military. And the U.S. just sat back and let them get knocked off in the end. That's what they used them. Like a dirty napkin, you know, just throw them to the side. It got so bad that you had U.S. soldiers literally going back overseas to try to help their friends that was helping them out. It's the reason why they made that movie, you know, about the the soldier that had, the, I think it was a Afghanistan interpreter. He was helping them, and they ended up going to war against the Al-Qaeda or whatever they called them guys. They ended up going to war with them, but the Afghanistanian dude got left behind. They started trying to kill him. And so he was like, you know what? I can't take that. I can't sit back while my friend is being hunted. And they about to hunt him and his family down and kill him. He went back over there, overseas, and found the dude and saved him and his family, man. And I think that was based on a true story. But the part where he said about my guy Kyle, <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, I know how I feel about my guy, man. Yeah, he a, he a true hero. He did what a lot of... Uh, what I think a lot of people in my community, the black community, should be doing today, man. When you go into these neighborhoods and you got people shooting up blocks and you got kids getting hit, you need people like him to pop up with a couple AR-15s and say, nah. Nah, keep that over there. So, yeah, he a hero too in my eyes. Like, yeah. East can't get them out. Heroes are the ones who had the Constitution written down. Y'all are using hero while describing Kyle Rittenhouse. One cent, two cent, three cents, four. We get less and they get more. By insult since we were born. They want money. We want Dirty more. dollars fill their pockets while our coffins fill the ground. They make profits solving problems. They create to keep us down. For this song, it's all classified intelligence. Don't need to go to war to secretly be getting benefits. When Russia launches rockets, we condemn them, but there's evidence a U.S. politician owns the screws they're assembled with. Ain't no war on drugs, it's economic. You make money off Damn. an inmate, every jail cell is profit. Our prisons are privately owned. Drug, damn them, but there's evidence a U.S. I just gotta hear that again. 
U.S. politician owns the screws. There are some benefits. When Russia launches rockets, we condemn them. But there's evidence a U.S. politician owns the screws they're assembled with. Ain't no war on drugs. It's economic. You make money off an inmate. Every jail cell is profit. Our prisons are privately owned. Illegal marijuana just mean kids smoking weed. Turn the dollars in their pockets. Let's be honest. Domestic threats in comparison to nuclear powers who hate the West is embarrassing. Still, we label truckers in the convoy as terrorists and confiscate donations. We have no idea where it is. A pipeline leaks. Price of gas goes higher. Stock market crash. Everybody gets fired. Economy is weak while we trying to beat a virus. One trillion dollars in debt to China. We celebrate the smallest battles we're winning, so they can publish the headline that's gonna fuel the vision. But if we champion the crumbs, then it's crumbs that we're giving. But we don't make any progress, we're stuck at the beginning. One cent, two cent, three cents, four. We get less and they get more. By insult since we were born, they want money. Man, 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 man. He said a lot right there. And I'm just vibing to it. <laughs> I'm just taking it all in. The main message of this of this song, I can tell, is that this this whole country, man, most of the big corporations that really run this country is corrupt. And they run it with dirty money, man. And it's real. It's true. And nobody want to talk about that. Matter of fact, it's like everybody's hands tied. So nobody can really talk about that. Nobody with a voice in a way. Nobody can really talk about that. Everything in this country is created to prey off somebody else. You know, to benefit off somebody well, somebody else is 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 lacking, basically. It's made so the haves can can keep what they have over the have nots. And the people who have not, it'll be like playing the lottery for you to be put in a, in a position to have shit. And it that ain't cool, man. This is supposed to be the land of opportunity. The land of uh milk and honey and all this. <laughs> the land of the free home of the brave and really is it's the home of the slave, man. In all honesty. I can't lie, he sounded like that prime Eminem when he said that. He got that real passion behind it, the anger. I don't want your dirty money. Money, 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 money. Not enough soap to scrub, it's soaked in blood. It's all about the money, 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 money. Every time we make a buck, they take from us. It's all about the money, 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 money. Thanks. The dollar runs a lot until we die. It's all about the money, 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 money. It controls your mind and it controls it mind. Dirty dollars fill their pockets while our coffins fill the ground. They make profits solving problems they create to keep us down. Dirty money. Dirty money. I don't want your dirty money. Nova did it again, man. She is like she need to win some type of prize. <laughs> For all these dope visuals he done created, man. Another hit, another banger from Tom McDonald, man. Dirty money. Dirty, dirty money. It runs the world. It keeps the world going around at this point. <laughs> I don't know when things are going to change. I don't know how things are going to change. You can talk about it, but to tell you the truth, everybody connected to that dirty money in some type of way. Don't know what to say, man. Like people just don't understand since the since the beginning of America, it's been really ran by gangsters. It's been run by gangsters and outlaws, man. The whole country. I don't know how many of y'all read the book of uh, the Great Gatsby, but that's what that's about—a bunch of rich gangsters running everything. They got the most power, the most influence, and they continually growing richer and richer. They keep their riches circulated between their family and they they tight circles, and the people at the bottom you just you like ants, you just here to be stepped on, just ants and worker bees, man. And so hey, I guess calling them out would be the first real step you can take to changing that messed up system. But on it's a system I don't see changing no time soon, man, because 
real gangsters run the world, man. And gangsters, to, to shut you up, they'll do some gangster shit to shut you up. Just like he said, this will probably get me killed. See, he know what's going on. Like, like, seriously, talking, when you got a voice and you got millions and millions and millions of people listening to you, you just can't go pointing fingers. You can't go pointing fingers, they'll chop your hand off. Or cut your head off. They gonna silence you, man. So, yeah, I don't see things changing no time soon. But y'all need to, like I say, keep this guy protected because he doing the Lord's work, as people say. But, yeah, that's it for this video, man. Do not forget to leave that right there, that thumbs up, man. Don't forget to sub. Don't forget to share it. Leave a comment. And, yeah, tune in to my live videos, too. I'm going to start trying to go live every Sunday. Every Sunday, I'll try to go live, man. It's it for this vid. Peace. I might buy your book.